morning friends uh, somebody asked a question on the channel about the differences between the, the uh, American chinchilla breed and our New Zealand crosses um, I can say right now we've only had one successful litter of three kits out of the New Zealand crosses I can show you that right now those are the three that we've had there was four but she crushed one sitting on them right away now that being said these rabbits are three weeks younger okay than these rabbits and I can say just visually they've caught up and passed them so here's the dilemma we have American chinchillas on this side I've got eight or we've got eight the growth rate is reasonable but it's nowhere near the New Zealand and uh, California cross that we have in this side these guys grow fast they they grow out to be a very big rabbit um, so you have to say to yourself I, I'm thinking the difference is going to be three three and a half weeks difference before they hit the five pound mark which they'd be considered commercially ready for food so you have to say to yourself well you know we've lost two full litters out of these these two here they're terrible in my mind they're, they're not terrible moms but they're not good moms the American chinchillas on the other hand these are fantastic moms all of these rabbits back here are what we've bred okay and we're selling out the batches are going down fast so these are the first batches of the year I got two females here uh, I've got two bucks here I got this female we're keeping her and I got this one here that's another buck I believe I have a mark cages and Jake's got the book Jake always has the book um, so we haven't sexed these ones yet uh, this mom is terrible she's lazy she's I don't know I don't know what to do with her. we're gonna give them one more try that's three three times in your out um, and that's pretty much standard Dorothy here she was the mother of that group there Dorothy is a great mom so all I can say for sure is the ACs the American chinchillas are great mothers you get big litters and the litters are more likely to finish out so what does that say so do you get more a little bit more time three weeks three and a half weeks more before you get the litter or very small litters two complete litters out of these white ones the New Zealand and uh, the the uh, California crosses were destroyed and they were big litters okay so I think there was seven and eight but they laid them out on the cage and they froze or went cold so that's the dilemma that we're, we look at so we struggle that we switched over we didn't really totally switch over but we were heading towards switching out to uh, to the uh, the American or sorry the New Zealand I lost my train of thought the New Zealand California cross but they're not turning out nobody wants to you know everybody doesn't even pay attention when they come in to look at the rabbits to buy some they don't care about them so for resale I think the only thing that they're going to be good if we can get the program a little bit better is just purely meat um, People come in here and they fall in love with the ACs. As a heritage breed, these things are phenomenal. Like, they really like them. And we've had great success with, with selling them. We only, you know. So we'll see how it plays out. I've got uh, one, two, three, four ready for market um, as a protein product. Or they sell out. And then we got eight coming up. So it's hard to say. You know, like you got to look at it. You got to look at it. It's just not as simple sometimes as people think. They're just, it's hard. It's, you know, I'm going to sit down and do some math over it and give you exact numbers. Or do you go with your gut feeling and your gut feeling is the American chinchillas are better. As a matter of fact, we got another dough that we picked up. We traded a buck for a dough because we're going to keep, keep the program going. Um this young lady up here in fall this one here we're going to breed her with dan uh dan will is a one-year-old male buck 
and uh, he's up at the front. He's the uh, chosen one. That's Dan there. Now he's a little bit small-ish. Now I want to prove something out here. I might be totally out to lunch and, and I don't know what I'm talking about. But I would like to prove out that he was born last summer during a heat wave and he, they did not eat. Those rabbits did not put on feed at all. And that whole brood was, uh, or litter, they were all on the smallish side. And I think it had to do with the heat and them not eating as much when they should have been putting on lots of calories and eating lots of food and, you know, building the bulk and mass of their bodies. Um, so that's what we're going to do. We have two doughs. We're going to use that dough in the back. And we're going to use this young lady here. We're going to breed her as well. So we'll breed these two. We're going to try it with Dan. Or maybe Buck Buck. I'll see what Jake says. I want to breed Dan with the little doe back there. And I think her name's Daisy. I don't remember what her name was Daisy or something. But that's the program that we have. So you have volume versus grow out. So then you have your total meat. right? So if I had 15 pounds there. And the white. The, the New Zealand uh, California cross. Or let's say I had 40 pounds, but three weeks difference. So you're starting to see where this is going. Um, I get more money out of the selling the, uh, we get more value out of selling the, uh, the ACs as well. People just love them, you know. And I pedigreed them, so I don't know. It, it's, uh, it's difficult to say which way to go. Um, but anyway, some late, uh, yeah, a person did, did write in and ask, so I thought I'd do a quick video on it. So that's, uh, that's where we're going. So there's the difference. Eight successful uh, versus three, you know, but bigger, faster. If you could get a whole, you know, a whole bunch of these going, you'd be okay. But so far, we're not having that much luck with these, um, these animals. They're not, uh, they're not producing and they don't seem to have... You won't beat, in my mind, you're not going to beat an AC for mothering ability. Anyway, thanks for the question. I love it. And I did devote some time to it uh, because I thought it was a worthy question that needed time devoted to it. There's our, our other program of the fly control. So we're trying to keep the flies down. So we have that and the fly bag of death. I'll show you that. That's this thing here. And that's called the Big Bag Fly Trap. And it's got lots of flies in it. And they're drowning. Bah, beautiful. I love it. And the flies are almost non-existent. Now there is a few. So the next step is at the back we'll be hanging up a UV fly, fly trap. So that's what's going on. Anyway, thanks again for the questions. Please keep them coming in. We did have some comments that rabbits should never be eaten as animals. Well, if you understand rabbits, the whole reason why rabbits exist is they're the bottom of the food chain prey animals as far as uh, protein mammals go. So that's what their existence is for, to feed other animals. Uh, the question was, was made, or the point was brought up that humans shouldn't eat animals. Well, I'm of the oak that we are animals, and animals eat animals, and that's just the way it is. Uh, if you don't like it, that's fine. Don't watch the show. Don't be a part of this community. Uh, if you do like it, then I, I hope that you can be a part of the community. I'm not a channel that's a place for activism. You want There's all kinds of channels for you guys out there. Knock yourselves out, but I'm not going to be the place to do that. I only tolerate so much. You can make your statement. You're entitled to make your statement. And I respect your statement, but I will not tolerate harassment. It won't happen. We'll just we'll just switch venues, and we can take care of that. You know, YouTube gives us that ability. So that's where I am at that. Um, these are protein animals. They will be consumed for food. And if you don't like it, watch another channel. Anyway, peace out. Uh, God bless. Stay safe during COVID-19. We got some bouncing going on with the numbers. I lost my job. Uh, due to a cutback, so I'm full-time bunny guy now and uh, looking for work and that's the way it is so if uh, If you got something positive to say, please leave a comment and Don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and ring the bell for notification cheers